next on Radio Romania International, it's time to listen to the Football Flash. Romania's football champion Stara Bucharest is the new holder of the Romanian Football Super Cup title. Having defeated the cup winner Petrolul Ploiesc 3-0 on a National Arena Stadium in Bucharest on Wednesday night. The game saw a balanced beginning, with Star missing a clear scoring opportunity in the 15th minute, when the young player Gabriel Yanku failed to score when he found himself alone with Petrolul Brazilian goalkeeper Patterson Pesanya. Six minutes later, Star didn't miss another opportunity. Christian Tanase dribbled past Sebastian Akin and passed the ball in front of goal for the Montenegrin player Stefan Nikolic to score. The fate of the game was basically sealed on minute 28, when Petrol's defender Manasse and Zayamisi dangerously tackled Nikolic in the penalty area and the referee ruled a penalty kick. Yamisi received his second yellow card and was sent off, while his team was forced to play with 10 men on the pitch. Stawa's captain Alexandro Borciano missed, however, the penalty kick, which Pesania saved. Stawa scored two more goals in the first half of the game. The Polish-born German player Lukas Sukala scored in the 32nd minute and Mihai Pintili again 10 minutes later. In the second half, Stawa were more relaxed, focusing more on defense rather than attack. They still had a few scoring opportunities. In the 78th minute, for instance, Federico Piovacari missed a clear opportunity. Finding himself alone with the goalkeeper Pesina, the Italian player kicked a weak shot straight at the goalkeeper and thus missed. With a final score of 3-0, Stella thus defeated Petrolo for the second time in the Super Cup game. In 1995, in Paris, Stella won 2-0 thanks to two goals by Damian Militaru and Ion Vladoyu. And that's all from Football Flash. You can also follow our sports news at www.ri.ro and on Facebook. And with that, our broadcast in English for listeners in Western Europe and Japan has come to an end. You can listen to our next program for Western Europe tomorrow at 5.30 hours UTC on 9700 kHz in analog system and 11875 kHz in the DRM system. Listeners in Japan can listen to our next program tomorrow at 22 hours UTC or 97.90 and 11.940 kilohertz. We can also be heard on the internet in WMA, MP3 and AAC Plus formats at www.rri.ro channel 1 and in Europe via satellite Hotbird 6 on 11.623 megahertz vertical polarization azimuth 13 degrees east. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write an email at engl at Goodbye.